Hello students, welcome to my YouTube channel Social Studies with Subhash. Today we are going to learn first lesson India Relief Feature. So let's get into the topic. So here this is our India. Our India lies between North Eastern Hemisphere. For example, this is the globe. So this is the equator. North Hemisphere, South Hemisphere, Western Hemisphere and East Hemisphere. If this is the globe, for example, this is the globe. So our India lies in North Eastern Hemisphere. North Eastern Hemisphere. <coughs> so our India lies between 8 degrees 4 minutes to 37 degrees 6 minutes in Northern Latitude and 68 degrees 7 minutes to 97 degrees 25 minutes in eastern latitude eastern latitude if you see the distance for example north to south 3214 kilometers and uh, east to west 2933 kilometers and our India follows our Indian standard marine that is 82 and of eastern latitude 82 and of eastern latitude that is the Indian standard meridian of time so here you might have a doubt why we choose specifically that means why we choose specially 82 and of eastern latitude so we have so many latitudes but why we choose specially H2 and off? Here, this line, H2 and off Eastern Longitude line, specially divides the India into equal parts. This line divides the India into equal two parts. So that's why we choose as a Indian standard meridian. So our India, our India geographically divided into some divisions. So what are they? One is Himalayas, second one is Gangetic Plains, Peninsular Plateau and coastal plains and the islands and the Thaw desert so first we will discuss about Himalayas so here Himalayas are located northern border of India Himalayas are located northern border of India so here a question will rise that means you might ask me so how the Himalayas are formed how the Himalayas were formed so here the answer millions years of ago Millions years of ago, our Indian Peninsular Plateau our Indian Peninsular Plateau and Eurasia Plateau Indian Peninsular Plateau and Eurasia Plateau does not exist together the millions of years of ago but gradually it moved and moved and it collided to the Eurasia Plateau. Collided means it hit the Eurasia Plateau. So in this process, due to the heavy pressure here, the fold mountains were formed here. This is the information of the Himalayas. So here, these Himalayas are located on northern border of India and they runs from These Himalayas runs from west to east like this. Himalayas run west to east like an arch. West to east and about its distance 2400 kilometers. 2400 kilometers and their width is 500 kilometers in west side and central or east side 200 kilometers. So here these Himalayas, these Himalayas are divided into three parallel ranges. Understand? These Himalayas are divided into three parallel ranges. What well, they are Himadri, northernmost range, Himadri, and Middle Laser, and the southernmost Shivalik. So first we discuss about Himadri. 
so this himadri region is the consist of full of snow and ice covered this himadri region consist of full of ice full of snow and ice covered and also its elevation elevation means height elevation means height altitude so this elevation 6100 meters and you can find here in himadri region glaciers glaciers source for the perennial rivers then here how the glaciers are formed here so due to the snowfall continuously due to the snowfall continuously the large mass of ice formed on the mountain and they move down very slowly so it is called the glaciers glacier formation so these glaciers are source for perennial rivers perennial rivers means what is the meaning of perennial that means the rivers flow throughout here they never end even in summer so they are called perennial rivers so here next uh, laser himalayas laser himalayas consist rugged relief and also compressed rocks rugged relief means not in smooth the rough place and its elevation is 3700 to 4500 meters elevation means already said height and here the most important ranges in this laser himalayas pirpanjal and mahabharata ranges are most important the ranges in this region and here we can find some valleys kashmir valley kulu valley and kangra valley kashmir kulu and kangra valleys we can find in this laser himalaya region so next uh, the this region the laser himalaya region famous for hill stations famous for hill station the they are shimla mussoorie nainital and raniket so here this simla is located in himachal pradesh simla is located in himachal pradesh remaining these three hill stations are located in uttarakhand uttarakhand here this is the himachal pradesh so this is the laser himalayas information next is shivalik most southern most himalayas southern most range of himalayas are called shivalik so this extend width 10 to 15 kilometers shivalik range but is 10 to 15 kilometers and uh, its elevation 900 to 1100 meters and we can find the some valleys valleys lying between laser himalayas and shivalik these range himalaya ranges are called uh, duns for example dehradun kotledun and patledun Dehradun, Kotli Dun, and Patli Dun. The Dehradun importance of the Dehradun, which is the capital of uh, Uttarakhand. Understand? Next, uh, these Himalayas, Thorn, Thorn, Hair, Pen, Bin in the Arunachal Pradesh. So these Himalaya ranges, Thorn, Hair, Pen, Bin in, in Arunachal Pradesh. Hair, Pen, Bin means take U turn to the south eastern states and spread all states. in northern all north eastern states so here in this himalaya ranges are called here purvanchal ranges here they takes u turn to the south in arunachal pradesh beyond the the hang valley and then it spread into all eastern states in this region these himalaya region are called in this region purvanchal purvanchal this region called purvanchal so here these purvanchal consist sediment sand stones these purvanchal composed or consist of uh, sediment sand stones so here this purvanchal ranges also called different names in different region for example patka hills patka hills manipuri hills mijo hills and naga hills naga hills and here mijo hills so this is the information of himadri laser and shivali so here one more thing the importance of the himalayas importance of the himalayas these himalayas act like a barriers these himalayas act like a barriers to protect the from cold wind of central asia and also these himalayas influence the climate of india and summer rains monsoon climate and summer rains for example here one question will rise up if there were no himalayas what would happen if it's absence what would happen so if there were no himalayas this region would have been drier because due to the himalayas 
due to the himalayas here northern plains are formed and also these perennial rivers are flowing in this area so due to these northern plains and perennial rivers the farmers are grown different types of crops here our indian economy depend on agriculture so agriculture fully developed due to the himalayas northern plains and perennial rivers so that's why the himalayas are place very important role